Question 16. What causes earthquakes? Answer. Earthquakes are usually caused when rock underground suddenly breaks along a fault. This sudden release of energy causes the seismic waves that make the ground shake. When two blocks of rock or two plates are rubbing against each other, they stick a little. Question 17. What is meant by a diurnal cycle? Answer. A diurnal cycle is any pattern that recurs every 24 hours as a result of one full rotation of the Earth with respect to the Sun. In climatology, the diurnal cycle is one of the most basic forms of climate patterns. The most familiar such pattern is the diurnal temperature variation. Question 18. What are diurnal changes? Answer. Diurnal temperature variation is the variation between a high temperature and a low temperature that occurs during the same day. Question 19. What are magnetic storms? Answer. A disturbance of the magnetic field of the Earth or other celestial body. Question 20. What causes the Earth's oblateness? Answer. The Earth's oblateness shown here as a bulge at the equator highly exaggerated to demonstrate the concept causes a twisting force on satellite orbits that change various orbital elements over time. The force caused by the equatorial bulge is still gravity. Question 21. Define declination. Inclination. Answer. Magnetic declination is the angle between magnetic north the direction the north end of a compass needle points and true north. The declination is positive when the magnetic north is east of true north. Magnetic inclination is the angle made by a compass needle when the compass is held in a vertical orientation. Question 22. Define Curie temperature. Answer. The Curie temperature PC or Curie point is the temperature at which certain materials lose their permanent magnetic properties to be replaced by induced magnetism. Question 23. What is a tomographic image? Answer. Tomography refers to imaging by sections or sectioning through the use of any kind of penetrating wave. The method is used in radiology, archaeology, biology, atmospheric science, geophysics, oceanography, plasma physics, materials science, astrophysics, quantum information, and other sciences. Question 24. What part of the Earth does not receive direct P waves from a quake? Answer. The shadow zone is the area of the Earth from angular distances of 104 to 140 degrees from a given earthquake that does not receive any direct P waves. The shadow zone results from S waves being stopped entirely by the liquid core and P waves being bent, refracted, by the liquid core. Question 25. What is seismic imaging? Answer. Seismic imaging is a tool that bounces sound waves off underground rock structures to reveal possible crude oil and natural gas bearing formations. Seismologists use ultra-sensitive devices called geophones to record the sound waves as they echo within the earth. Question 26. What is a harmonic tremor? Answer. A harmonic tremor is a sustained release of seismic and infrasonic energy typically associated with the underground movement of magma, the venting of volcanic gases from magma, or both. Question 27. What is seismic tomography? Answer. Seismic tomography is a technique for imaging the subsurface of the Earth with seismic waves produced by earthquakes or explosions. P. S. And surface waves can be used for tomographic models of different resolutions based on seismic wavelength, wave source distance, and the seismograph array coverage. Question 28. What are SV and SH waves? Answer. S waves polarized in the horizontal plane are classified as SH waves. If polarized in the vertical plane, they are classified as SV waves. When an S or P wave strikes an interface at an angle other than 90 degrees, a phenomenon known as mode conversion occurs. Question 29. What is a seismograph and how does it function? Answer. A seismograph is the device that scientists use to measure earthquakes. The goal of a seismograph is to accurately record the motion of the ground during a quake. Question 30. How does a seismograph work? Answer. Seismographs can detect quakes that are too small for humans to feel. During an earthquake, ground shaking seismic waves radiate outward from the quake source called the epicenter. Different types of seismic waves travel at different speeds and through different parts of the earth during a quake.